Hello everybody! I am the Ark! Let's jump right in! Ladies and gentlemen, if this Satsutan goes on for longer than 15 or 16 seconds, then I apologize because I have two insanely long things to talk about. And I don't know how I'm gonna even divide the amount of time for each Satsutan, so uh, let's see what I'm gonna talk about first. Ah, yes. We're gonna talk about Exaleo. That's right, DG70 has once again delivered to us another new group of virtual YouTubers. <laughs> Six VTubers have debuted today and I got the chance to see all of them in action. First off, we have uh, our new character, we have uh, Zayad Lanza. <laughs> like, that sounds like a name, like, uh, you know, with the LAN cables and all that, but you know, quite She's from a future, and apparently, she must save uh, the world. He thinks like maybe we we must save complete peace, Persona 3 affordable, or um, uh, we must uh, get 50/50 on our pulls. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, she does. She's quite like that. But support her, you know. Then up next we have Topio Drop Site. <laughs> That's a very dopey, uh, dope name, you know. The dude's got, the uh, quite the powerful thing. Dude can speak seven languages, that is crazy, you know. He's, he's very fluent, I must say. Oh, uh, did I mention he has the power to double drops? What is, what is the next double drops in Blue Archive? I swear I need that, for, so I can level up my characters. Then we have another new EDGN girl right here, Beloko Kyoran, another mommy type character. Oh my god, I, why am I even to mommy type VTubers? <laughs> Is it like because they're a booba? <laughs> she doesn't even wear a bra. <laughs> but you know, they're like, hey. <laughs> okay, keep your thoughts straight, you know. We got so much more to talk about. Then we got uh, this guy right here. Story about uh, wait, this name again. Haywire, Hexway, Haywire. Yeah, <laughs> this has got really deep voice. You know, most box and him should collab. You, you know, <laughs> you say who can make the deepest voice? <laughs> He's. Up next, we got Kotaka, right here. A very cute Torahibe, the very cute Gyaru type character. And then, um, the Skiaru, like, she can shapeshift to other characters just by taking a selfie. Dude, if she can shapeshift to any other character, like, the, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna lead to some imposter seeds and all that stuff. She's also got some interesting taste in, how do I say it? Oh yeah, food combinations. And finally, we have this guy right here, the, um... Who's that one? Mr. Ver Vermillion. Very reddish, you know. He's the only one who's actually playing discarded. Oh, because everyone else playing violet and stuff. But, uh, yeah. This, all of them uh, You wonderful VTubers. There's all worthy of your time and attention. Please check them out in the video description below so you can all see what are what the hype is all about. And there's even, of course, a song as well. Admittedly, I never heard the full song because <laughs> the timing, though. I was playing Gunshin and I was like, wait, there's a song already? <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, apparently it's a little different round. The song came first. So, um, but check it out, it's a very. It's a night. It's a certified banger! Okay, now that we're done with one topic, I hope you're prepared for another topic today. The Game Awards. Alrighty, so we start off with the pre 
with some announcements. So, first off, Dead Cells gets a Castlevania C downloadable content, which is like really cool, cause uh, especially because you know Dead Cells is a Metroidvania type game, and that is what Castlevania is has to where some Castlevania's best games are at, you know? The Metroidvania Renaissance of Castlevania. Remember the games? The PlayStation, the Game Boy Advance, and the DS. And then next up, we have, uh... As for other cool surprises, uh... Um... Hellboy's getting a cool game. Came with a very comic book style-ish look. And then, um... Among Us has announced a, uh... What's the... What's this again? Oh yeah! They announced that there's a hide and seek mode! The popular hide and seek mode... There's this game called Replace that also looks so HD 2D is, and it's always cool to see HD 2D. Judas! From the maker of Bioshock, featuring very weird worlds with vigor to cast and uh, guns to shoot. That's definitely Bioshock, but in space! Bayonetta comes as a new game uh, coming soon as well. An interesting new origin story type game, you know? One that's told in a storybook style. <laughs> Dude, if they make a collector's edition where it looks like a the physical edition looks like a storybook, then that would be dope. Very book. Then, uh... We also got to see Street Fighter 6 in action as well as Tekken 8! Hey, duh. And then, Genshin fans, they got to see uh, Yao Yao in action. Not I'll hate them, because, um, but you get this nice little P JPEG of him later after the show. We got about, we got to also see uh, Fire Emblem engage as well. Don't worry, Nintendo hasn't forgotten that this show exists, you know, they did at least come with some announcements. So. But, uh, likewise, there was also cool Animal doing his thing, you know? Animal! <laughs> oh, what things? Uh. And then, um... Oh yeah! The be- Oh yeah, FromSoft has, is going back to what made them famous before the days of the Soul Suborn. Armored Core 6 has been announced. Uh, and I'm excited for that one. Blue Protocol is also confirmed to be getting a global release and I want to check that out myself because um... Did they say this was a competitor against something like um... Maybe Genshin? Or New Genesis? Fantasy Star Online 2? Or Tower of Fantasy? Something like that. But... I I have a friend who's also intrigued in that one, so it's been in development for a while, so I can't wait to hear more about that one. They also showed Final Fantasy 16 as well, so... And Death Strategy 2, oh my god, I can't keep up with all these announcements, I even have to open my own live tweets just to see what I'm talking about. Up next, the awards that actually mat the awards. A whole lot of it got swept by God of War Ragnarok. Especially some awards that didn't even deserve it though. Like for example, Best Music. Taken by God of War Ragnarok. Like, boy! Did you not hear how Xenoblade's music work, you know? How with the flutes and all that? They even made their own flutes, so that sounds different, you know? And not to mention Xenoblade has like, what? Hun a hundred tracks? It's like seven times of what God of War Ragnarok has? You know, some people say believe that quality over quantity, but you can have both quality and quantity at the same time. 
The Vaulted Monolith Soft know this, cause they definitely made the killer soundtrack with Xenoblade 3. Yeah, a lot of people say Xenoblade was robbed. But you know what else was robbed? Sonic Frontiers. Honestly, I didn't want to talk about this in this particular part, but the player's voice, in my personal opinion, has been ruined by the Sonic vs. Genshin debacle. Like, because, like, no longer is it voting for the fan favorite of the year. Instead, it's a war between two fandoms to see who can assert their dominance better. Honestly, in my... Dude, yeah, this is a very spicy thing, but if Genshin didn't even make it past round 2, I could have seen Xenoblade there, and that could have easily won player's voice. Am I right, or am I right? Never do this shit again, please. Okay, but for the awards that it did deserve, alright? Let's see. Best Family Game, Kirby won the award! Fuyo! Fuyo! Kirby won that. <laughs> Also, they straight got some awards as well, like indie games as well, and then, uh, well, as for quickie awards, we got the best sim strat game, Mario Plus Rabbit Strats of Sparks of Hope got their award, and I'm happy to see that because the fun thing is, Mario Plus Rabbit won an award in 2017. And they won again in 2022, so that's how you know that this joint project between Nintendo and Ubisoft is going to be such a fantastic idea. And then, uh, the other awards. Uh, most anticipated game, Tears of the Kingdom, find gets its recognition right there. Also, some people are a little disappointed that there's no trailer for it. Well, um, well, I guess maybe Nintendo is still working on this war stuff. But we only have like five months or so before the game finally comes. And then the awards. There's also RPG. Yeah. And then, um, wait, where is it? Yeah. So, yeah, get. Play your voice, get Genshin wins, and we are did at least get the chance. I at least got okay, so um best uh best multiplayer is Splatoon 3. <laughs> yes, yeah, Splatoon 3 won that one because guess what? They clapped uh, the cheeks of uh Call of Duty and Overwatch. <laughs> Why get a gritty shooter when you can get, you know, a fun, colorful shooter, you know? Just like how 2015 Splatoon clapped the cheeks of other shooters! Oh yeah, one more announcement I completely missed out. The Super Mario Movie! Oh yeah, Super Mario Movie. Man, did you guys see that clip? Holy cow, that Mushroom Kingdom is so fantastic. And the music, man, the music! Very video- they put everything from the the songs from the video games already, making it genuinely feel like the video game Mario video games we know and love. And as for the game of the year, the game of the year that goes to um, Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah, God of War may have swapped the awards, but no, Elden Ring is one game of the year, so. <laughs> I guess that's karma because you know how four years ago the Elden Ring God of War the cold game of the year even though uh, Red Dead was sweeping. Oh but some git managed to find his way onto the stage and then Elden Ring and then became some <laughs> award to <laughs> Bill Clinton apparently. <laughs> it was like a thunder stealer you know. I'm sorry but whoever that guy is though. <laughs> That guy was the was the biggest surprise of the entire show, you know. <laughs> and this guy, I cannot stop fighting memes about him, you know. 
he's everywhere. He's quite the ruckus, you know. Ever since he somehow snuck his way onto the stage when Elden Ring won Game of the Year, <laughs> like someone invaded, like a bloody finger invaded in real time, and then boom, they uh did lots of crazy stuff with that. <laughs> And I keep seeing memes of this thing, <laughs> the quote is just <laughs> laughable, questionable, but hilarious at the same time, you know. <laughs> I swear to god, this, <laughs> this is like... <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you all need... What is it? <laughs> Okay, I take it too long. Let's go. Hooray! Let's go what the doing some skiing. It's snowing. <laughs> Not here in the Philippines though. We live by the equator, so we're burning hot. Wait, this is a workout of sorts? Oh, for going in an intense mountain training course. That could not, that can only end so well. Nah, we ain't gonna climb Mount Everest. Yes, right there, you know? I mean, uh, we're doing snowboarding or, uh, this thing, curling, <laughs> figure skating. Uh, Ah, like they're going on, got to go ahead. Okay, so I done. Just challenge wipe it. Indeed, because, uh, you know, the amount of uh, height that you can expect out of this. See your friends waving to us. <laughs> yeah, you get quite the excellent view. So long as you don't move about too much, or you'll probably, you know, die. A skiing team and a snowboarding team. team. スノボチームはリンちゃんとヨウと私だね。よし、さあと決まれば早速リフト乗りに行こう。さあ、ポンチでチェック。カナンさん、みんなの中で一番若い。ちょっとボスアップアップオールオブアス。相手がフォローセス
さてそれでは私たちスキーチームもリフトに乗りましょうか。Alrighty. Oh. Yeah, you seem nervous. どうしたの顔色が悪いわよ。もしかして。I know. Extreme sports like this. Yeah. You can only end so well. 別にこのくらいの高さ、余裕だし。<laughs> Not even that high off the ground. ああ、実は私。高いところ苦手なのよね。リフトに乗るの急に怖くなってきたの。私もこのまま乗るのは怖いですね。<笑> just... 誰かに手を握ってくれたら大丈夫だと思うのですが。<笑>ミア、よかったら真ん中に座って私たちの手を握っててくれませんか？<笑>し、仕方ないな。I guess they know what you both need me so much. I'm sure to if you all had. Okay. Right. Yeah, more than reached the high point. I look like Red's already having her fun. Ah! She's rolling off some cool moves. <laughs> Me thinks you also played something like, uh. Sean White snowboarding? Remember that one on. run from E3 2008? Nintendo? You probably don't. Oh, you're right. Looks like you fell. You're injured? I keep wobbling all over the place. Yeah, if you go very fast, you could end up becoming a snowballer. Worst case scenario, you could even start an off-vanant. By the advice for skiing, I definitely won't be able to do skiing or snowboarding because、uh, I'm not in the right climate for that matter. Race it to the big tree. Just look. Make sure you watch out for this tree, like Church of the Jungle. But that could also end up in another disaster. Okay, let's move on. Continue onwards. Oh, Mia chan, Din chan, no advice. Ah, perfect. Study can Nakayoko Svetter no meter to get along in deep. I'm a little bit of a little bit of a little bit. Picked on several no points. Oh, learn as you watch them, learning by just by watching them. That's true. That's true. Hi. So then, you see, the ski does use quite a lot of stamina. Indeed. You probably feel the calories. Please burn as it slides down. Ah, with everyone else at Aquarius. 
Perfect. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to wear all white because otherwise, uh, they'd make it hard for you to find uh, where you are. Well, Kellen almost is wearing all white, but you can tell that there's like some green in her. Ah, looks like they're done skiing. Tadaima. Teyuka, Mina, Hontoni, Aikawa's Dane. Get in the Nikitemo, Skuru Idol and Hanashi Sterdanante. Oh no. Miyoto, Samui? I'll get that. Hey, isn't that not a beast thing? It should probably feel up her flat wall. <laughs> Yo, it's well. Hey, give me a hug, your Watanabe. <laughs> no, wait, that is some kind of specialty, too. The specialist of hugs. Tracy's <laughs> crushing her. Oh, what you find? Ooh, look at that. That does look delicious. Why does it remind me like the Ned Flanders's hot? Chocolate in the Simpsons movie. It's cold out, yeah. Well, the thing is still hot, you know. We always like something hot to warm ourselves, you know. That's why when the morning is cold, sometimes I would like to have hot chocolate instead of iced tea. And uh, what's it again? Was there something you had in mind? Or so tell us, uh, cause uh, you might be onto something today. Right, moving on. Team versus team championship? Ah! Gotta race our way downwards! Oh, okay. So basically, um, we're playing some SSX Tricky. Alright, here we go. It's off to the races. It's a kind of ticket lead. Yes, you could speed up, you know. It's playing. Yeah. She's fast. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. This can't end well. You're running to someone. Oh no. This is not gonna look good. <laughs> this 
This is the 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 air, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you hear that? Right, remember how they taught you how to break? Oh no, it's useless. I'm watching that video. Yeah! Try. Try to remember. Oh. Wait, I assume Karen can also like manage to catch up pretty well. So uh Oh no, she still for this first stuff. Well um I guess even after getting so much speed, um, I forget to know how to break. Yeah. Yeah. Very scary, you know. Well, at least it could have been worse, you know. You'd have seen someone at the hospital. Still oh, cruel, I know, but uh, well. That's what happens if you go too fast. You're going too fast! <laughs> but I'm a passenger! Oh wait, that's for driving. I let her race, eh? So the ski team is once again back in action. Yeah. Here we go, looks like they're racing off. Take it off. Looks like we're taking out. So she easily moves around the loop. Mogos. Yep. Oh, Fred, you alright? リンちゃんが転んじゃった。やべ。その間にミアがリンちゃんを追い抜いたわ。ま、だまだだにゃ。絶対追い抜いてくれ。Almost there, looks like B is about to win. Uh, sometimes when the course is designed like that, you can't even figure out a, a way of a shortcut. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe she did find out a shortcut somewhere. <laughs> it is a shortcut. I'm always ahead of the script, Len. <laughs> wow, she won by a hair! <laughs> it's like when someone fights the shortcut and takes a different path in like Maple Tree Way or something. <laughs> I think I had a rematch! Let's give her another shot to. And no falling this time. <laughs> I think you mean a lead for these keys. Let's see who is the supreme sports, you know. Like, this is some sort of sports fest format. Splat fest format, you know. Rin-chan. 
それが。あ、ガリン。ガリン、what are you on to something? I guess maybe because we are down to our final competitors, that probably means. There's gonna be something very big and very tough and very challenging. You know, all the stuff that's gonna make you worry for your life. What was that? I was talking to Kakari, but the lift was a long time ago. Oh, right. Eh? Well, the last match was... Are they doing like uh inspections? Ah, looks like they are doing stuff. Darn. Lift はどれくらいで治りそうなのでしょうか？ Of course, it's important that you check your chair lifts every now and then in order to ensure the safety of all your passengers. Once again, that could lead to you know death. Lift が動かないとしばらく滑れないし、どうしようか。ゲレンデでできる対決まだあるよ。は？ What's that you suggest? Snow man. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of snow. No, we will not sing that Frozen song. Yes. いいと思います。でしたらスノボチームはヨーガリーダーでスキーチームは私をリーダーにしてそれぞれ作りますか。いいね、楽しそう。雪だるま作りだなんて。雪そめつ for babies。まあやってもいいけどさ。じゃあ。Never too old to build a snowman, you know. If you're playing Animal Crossing, you might build your own snowman. Maybe you can also build a snowman in Fortnite. And then possibly jump into that giant snowball, massive snowball. Then jump out so you can ambush someone or run someone over. A snow dolphin. Whoa! Very ambitious, right there. You can try to make a snow dolphin and a snow kitty in the same sculpture. Of course, I am. Yeah, that will be Singapore's. You'll have to ask Singapore for that. And you're not D for DJ. Yes. Alrighty, looking forward to this. But what about Team Ski's plan? You know, because uh, they probably are also cooking up something big. Who knows? It will be something dope. Unless that's up there, will probably spoil you. Oh, looks like they're ready to show what we made. Oh, look at all the sculptures there. They got uh, sculptures of uh, Catherine, Rin, Kanan, and um, 
Mia and um why am I not seeing y'all or Umi in there? The ski resort dive show. Ah, genius. Oh, gee, probably because of my resolution, there might be more, you know. Oh, I cannot wait for the day that when Google Play Games finally launches outside uh, and I can put CFAS on my computer. Change will be coming next year. <laughs> also, they did make a Yo Watanabe snow sculpture. On the face is so good to hear. I'm surprised if we would think of something like this. Ah, yes! That is a good idea, you know. That's a perfect idea, you see? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you also made that? I thought uh, we were going for. Oh, wait, they probably did that because I get. Really? The same thing, even as separate teams. <laughs> yeah. Why not, I guess? I gave a given to either team, you know? Maybe who's the cuter uh, snowman out of these? <laughs> Round draw. <laughs> you make Yuki them? Yeah, they'll just crumble down, you know. Uh, just leave it there as this. <laughs> you know. you put so much effort in those, too. Yeah! Looks like we're going back to skiing and snowboarding again. Training! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Umi, why you always have to go ruin the mood for them, you know? Because if it's not, the game is supposed to be fun. If it's not fun, why bother? Because I had to use a uh, uh, good old Reggie quotes <laughs> again. Because, you know. Reggie. Only Reggie could pioneer such an uh, important driving for. Okay, wait a sec. So, what are we going for? Oh, yeah, right, because they have uh, the Yo Watanabe is in the exchange. X just exchanged that, you know. Why am I here? Yeah, and why not? Maybe more of Scarf as well. Now, okay, we got so far maybe all this. It's just more dupes. It's just practically no one else for me to pull next year for the remainder of the, this year. January is when I'll be back in business. Oh my god, we got the um, featured one again! <laughs> we actually got the featured one! <laughs> Looks like we're like, she's going on a battle royale driving! <laughs> Looks like she finally found Fortnite Chapter 4! Where are we dropping boys? <laughs> Where are we dropping boys? <laughs> what can I say though? <laughs> I suddenly surprised myself at CFS and 
Oh, it's good to see we actually got the featured stuff. That, that's what happens when you finally have nothing left and you built. Except maybe the other lanes. New lane you are that's coming up soon. That reminds me, the other lane also was the, the reason why I had that much luck there, you know. Getting all the Ryza girls down CC. Oh, son, next, the 20th, you know, we got the archive again. <laughs> the main story and again. Wait, we're talking another game again. <laughs> we keep talking about games, different games in this chan in this CFAS playthrough. But if you had to ask me what my game of the year at the end is, the key takeaway is Pokemon Legends Arceus is my game of the year. For 2022. This Pokemon game it means so much to me. The fact that Game Freak really did try and make a big risk. To do something different. Something that uh, Game Freak knows they want to do so they can break the traditional Pokemon formula. All while creating a different and an interesting new region that involves time, space, time, theme, and a lot of interesting stuff happening. And oh, did I mention you can actually single-handedly complete the Pokedex on your own. Yeah, there's not a lot of Pokemon there, but uh, what they make up for it is the ability to, you know, ensure that you get everything done. And all the QLs thought that uh, the advancements and break stuff, it's always welcome to see. That, my friends, is why Pokemon Legends Arceus is the game of the year for me. Oh, but Blue Archive is best mobile game for the year for here for me. <laughs> hey, I would vote. I would say Apex Legends mobile, but <laughs> Blue Archive's story really does get me. He hyped up, and up. It hits on every note right. Okay, that's all I need to say. I am Dark signing off. Have a good day.